Welcome to Meet and Match, digital platform of Linea Pelle Fair. In our Smart Matching edition, we have today Mrs. Emma. Welcome, Emma. Thank you. Nice to be here. Emma, tell us more about your journey. Yes, um, so as Manuela already introduced, I'm working with her. We are two partners. We founded Baolab, which is a CMF design studio in Milano. Uh, I personally uh, am following the research of materials, of innovative materials. I always had the curiosity and I really love materials. I've been studying architecture, then I went to in, in English school of design where it was very practical, so I really like working on materials and it's intriguing to me, this world. So I fi we found both the, the right way to, to join and uh, Manuela is more, let's say, theoretical and more uh, on color side. I'm more on the materic side of the work and more on research. Emma, I know that you have this special passion with automotive. Tell me more about materials and mobility right now. Um, I would say um, the automotive industry, more than a passion, is my background because I was working in an automotive studio before and um, it's an intriguing world because it's one of the, uh, let's say, uh, application where you do a lot of research on materials, innovative materials. It's, it's, it's really, together with electronics and a few other sectors, there is a lot of research. Um, so in automotive, we have three main drivers today. One is sustainability, which is a big item, <laughs> as we also in other fields. Uh, then I would say smart materials, and then in vehicle experience. Uh, sustainability, it's a lot to do with lightness, especially in automotive lightness, and um, the big theme of plastic. Of course, especially in interior, we have a lot of use of plastic, but the effort is to um, uh, add um, natural fibers to plastics. So this is in, in general. Uh, if I have to talk to, about smart materials, um, I can think of uh, integration, seamless integration of technologies into the materials. So what is very interesting is the graphene ink at the moment, experimentation. So um, printing basically with graphene on different substrates then can be leather, textiles or whatever and making it conductive, which is a old interesting fields to be explored. And uh, regarding the in-vehicle experience, uh, it's a lot to do with the comfort of the user, of the traveler, <laughs> that uh, is important. And in this area I would uh, do research on adaptive materials, flexible, getting the ergon ergonomy of the body, this kind of area. Are you talking about a future world or a current situation? No, I'm talking about current materials which have been developing in the recent few months or maybe one year and then they will be coming out quite soon. So this means is the reality? Yes. And this also means that in the latest year, we had so many technology innovations that they redesign the upcoming future. Yes, definitely. I'm uh -huh. convinced. I like to hear this because our smart consumer love to have 
smart materials, love to have more body feeling with the product, mostly in mobility. And now I like to ask you something, how the mobility will change in the near future, in your opinion? In my opinion, the use as we do now of a private car is disappearing very soon. We will, we will have to uh, travel in a completely different way, considering also the environmental problem we have. And uh, so autonomous driving, electric cars, sharings, micromobility, these are all things that are already around us, but then they will match somehow and so everything will be different, also in the product itself. Seamless is one of the key points I hear from your topics. How do you see the seamless integration with the smart world? Seamless is the integration between these new technologies that we all need at the moment, we live with this, with the need of genuinity, natural materials inside the car. So this means that we need the technology, the smartness, but this can be matched and applied to the real materials, which is another very important driver because of the nature. Brilliant. I think this is something that can give opportunities yes. to keep and maintain the heritage but also be direct to the future. Thank you, Emma. Thank you.